We decided to go to Target. It's just gonna be a thousand dollar day. So Ambry's back brace appointment didn't go as hoped for. Good morning guys and welcome to the vlog today. It's a beautiful day, we're happy you're here and it's gonna be a great day. We are back from Mexico. Things are warming up here. We're prepping for flood season, hoping our house doesn't flood, who knows? It's a brand new area, brand new development. Flooded in 1983, we'll see if it floods now. All right, Frank? Uh, kids are going to the dentist today, some of the littles that needed some work done and we're getting them some breakfast, get them on their way. I'm gonna get some work done. So, so good. Frank, you're a rock star. Yeah, you're a strong boy, huh? Do you like the dentist? <laughs> How was that? Was that fun? Do you wanna go get some chapstick for your little lips? Yeah. And your dry skin, oh, you're sunburned, that's so sad. Hey, here's your two tokens you so you can go two? get a price. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, you can go out that way this where your mom is. This way. Hold my hand. Oh, yes. Okay. This. And this. That's what she got. What do you want, though? I like it. The ball? I like the that. Ball. Okay. And this. Okay, spin it. Okay. Ooh, those are animal bracelets. Those are cool. How are they even for people? Help me. Frankie. Oh. Orange. No. He likes orange. It matches his hair. Now no. this one. Uh oh. <laughs> Blue and yellow. Those are good. Blue and yellow. Okay guys, so we had a little bit of time after our dentist appointment, before my back appointment. It's in two hours, so we decided to go to Target, because we had some time to go. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're doing that. Okay, we're in here, and Frank was asleep, so we made him a makeshift bed. Is it comfy? <laughs> yeah, so. Amber found this Virgo soy wax blended candle. Yeah. So I'm gonna Do you know what a Virgo right is? Nope. <laughs> it's like a sign, like your birth sign. Oh. I don't That's think cool. you're a Virgo though. Yeah. But yesterday, while we were getting ready for Easter Sunday, Daisy and Ambry were getting so upset at me because <laughs> none of my shoes fit them. Because <laughs> like they, for the last year, have been just coming in my closet every morning and getting shoes or getting dressed. Well, their feet have surpassed mine. So they don't have any shoes that fit them because they went from using their shoes to borrowing my shoes to now there is no size women's nine or nine and a half in our house. So we're gonna buy a few pairs of shoes, especially for church, because I think I did buy a couple like tenny type shoes and they have some Kizik's that, that work. She's in my size eight sandals. So some of my sandals can work because sandals give you a little bit of room, but anything with a pointed toe, anything with a closed toe, they're like, ouch, this is hurting my foot as soon as they put it in. So I think we should get a couple options like things that they could wear to church or anywhere else and then they can share them because i know that's going to be a fight but i can get a variety of different things that they can share and then we don't have to have two of the exact same of everything because they are about the same age and they are the same size and then we see something we cannot resist for 14 bucks you can get this amazing america shirt and enters all about it hold it <laughs> dad would be so proud all right things are getting out of hand evie was like i don't have any shoes either Mommy. and actually she did grow out of her shoes these are even too small for her what are these Wait, keep this. I think it's. I'm ready to throw them away right now. No, we're not gonna throw them away. Yeah, these are elevens. She can squeeze into an eleven, but twelves are really her size. 
Um, Is there any converse here? She's kind of between an 11 and 12, but most of her shoes are 10s and 11s. The ones that are in your closet that you said these hurt me, they're all 10s. So 10s and 11s are getting too tight, so it's just going to be a thousand dollar day with Dennis and, and shoes. All right, Target, you win. <laughs> That was actually a must, a, a well-needed little shopping. It was. Trip. I had no shoes. Yeah. We have been focusing so much on decor for the house and just moving, and we haven't had a minute. The kids were growing while we were working so hard, and we weren't didn't have time to go buy them shoes. So having this hour or two between appointments actually was good. Okay, so we just finished shopping at Target and. Um, now we can eat because we had to wait an hour because of our dentist thing. No, so are. Yeah. <laughs> um, now we're gonna go to Burger King and get some food. Oh. Okay, so we decided that we're gonna get our Burger King, then have a picnic on the grass for funsies. So yeah. Okay, so EB, we went to Burger King for lunch and she got the chicken fries and it came with a box that looks like a chicken and she's treating it like it's a stuffy. Like she loves this box. She ate all of the fries, which or the chickens, which she doesn't normally even do because I think she was just so excited to have the empty box. <laughs> so she left it inside the doctor's office. And she acted like she left a stuffy in there. It's so funny. I'm like, it's basically a piece of garbage. And she's like, my, my chicken. <laughs> I love it so much. Okay, so Ambry's back brace appointment didn't go. Oh, she's got her chicken. She's happy as can be. Didn't go as hoped for. Um, the doctor showed me x-rays of her back in brace and out of brace and this is the first time in all of our years dealing with scoliosis that we've seen a back brace in brace x-ray look worse than an actual just out of brace back brace and so I was like oh my gosh is her back brace making her back worse because this is supposed to overcorrect. Like their spine is supposed to look significantly better oh in brace. It's so hot. I know. We'll turn this down then. It's supposed to look significantly better in brace. And um, here, give this to, give this to Frank. And it looks significantly worse. So then he goes, no, like he tried to convince me that it was fine and I was just like, I've been around the sun with scoliosis a couple times, <laughs> like I'm pretty sure I've never seen this before. Like I kept questioning and he, I could tell the doctor was getting frustrated because he was just like, no, you don't understand. And I was like, I'm just telling you in all my years dealing with scoliosis, I've never seen an embrace back appointment look worse and I'm concerned. And so he tried to explain a few things to me and was like you need to listen and at one point I was actually pretty frustrated with him because he was treating me like I was stupid because like he was trying to explain something else which I'm sure had a good point but I was like you're still not answering my question of like why is her back brace making her curvatures worse like that's not normal finally he goes out to make the adjustment he grabs the brace and he goes out and he's supposedly making the adjustment and then he comes back in and he goes okay I can see why you're frustrated I can't actually fix her back with this back brace because I need to put a derotation pad in and there's a hole in her back brace exactly where I need to put the derotation pad so they left like they left like a uh, breathing space where there should have been pressure like I think in the computer it got flipped from the left side to the right side, if that makes sense. They were supposed to leave room for the other part of her back to swing this way and that one was supposed to be pushing and it's the other way around. So he's reaching out to the company to see if they will fix the brace because they made it incorrectly. And he says that they usually do, but it'll just be like three or four weeks to get the new brace. So. As soon as we get the new brace, then we can get back on track and start fixing her brace. But I was 
This is a newer brace. We've only come here, what, three times since you've gotten the new brace? What? You've only come here like three times with your new brace. So this is like her new brace, which we were super excited about because we're supposed to start seeing like more improvements. But I will say this, her back is still improving even in the incorrect brace. Like her out of brace from like five months ago compared to her out of brace right now, she's still improving. So that's, it's not like it's making it worse. It's just not going to be able to fix it correctly until they, which is weird. Cause like in brace it's worse. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. So um, that's where we're at. We are waiting to hear back from him. He's gonna call us in the next couple days and let us know if they are willing to remake the brace if they're not I don't I mean I can't even imagine that scenario because he's the professional he's the doctor and he's telling them like you made the brace wrong fix it and he said they usually just fix it so I'm not even gonna go down that rabbit hole of drama because I'm sure it'll be fixed and it's gonna be fine and this doctor's great he's actually Davy's mom's cousin so we we trust him we think he's great we just like I'm just stressed out because these braces are not cheap they're thousands and thousands of dollars anyway are you glad that mama bear came instead of daddy yeah because I don't feel like dad dad would have just been like okay doctors know the best I'm like no I advocate <laughs> I'm like Davey advocate Every time he comes home from the doctor's appointments, I'm like, what did they say? What did they do? And he's like, he's like terrified of me because he's like, I don't know. I don't remember. Like, I'm like, you need to record the whole conversation. So, um, I am a little bit more of a mama bear at doctor's appointments and sometimes it serves me and sometimes it does not. Cause I almost feel like this doctor sometimes is just like, I also think he's, I've had a couple times where he's like sick of me questioning in the past, so. But I'm like, no, I'm sorry. Unless I understand it, I will not back down when it comes to my kids and their health. Yeah, I know you did. Okay. Hey, kids are home. EB, I need to tell you something. Come here. Yeah, it's in the party barn. Come on. Something. Uh oh. Go. Hey, get out of there. Go. Go, go. Get down low. You gotta go down. Go. Get low. Get out of there. You ruined the surprise. Mama's a surprise. Yeah. Who made this? A maze with a pitfall at the end. You found the end, Evie. What? Oh uh, no. Evie, what do you think? Is this fun? Is this like. Oh, if you're wondering, this is eight large boxes of Legos. I think we got them on Amazon a long time ago, but it's a lot. It's a lot of Legos. I've been working on this while they were gone. Where? There, you need to go into the party barn. Wait, go this, go through my closet. Daisy's gonna check it out, see if she likes it. <laughs> Daisy, where are you? Let's see if you can solve the gauntlet. Dad, it's so easy. I don't know. Um, are there even like places you have to turn? You made it, Daisy. Whoa. Good job. <laughs> okay, wrapping up the vlog now. April went and did a little grocery shopping. And... That's it. Oh yeah. Back brace appointments happen. Do you have anything yeah. else to say about that? Are you um, good? No, he said he might call me back at 4.30 today and he didn't, did he call you? Did he miss call? <laughs>
I had some missed calls, but I didn't know who it was from. And if you're wondering, the countertop is still up in the air. The we'll see what happens. To now he's just gone A O L, absent with A W L, absent without leave. Um, a wall. That's what it's called. It's gone A wall. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Either way, we love being here, and we love this house, and it feels I, like a dream, and it's just, just so special like every day. I'm gonna show you something that I did today that I was like, oh my gosh. There was two things I had deja vu for. Sitting in the bus. I felt like I was just at home, like it was weird. I had deja vu and then I was doing dishes here and I'm like this to turn the water on. And I was like, oh yeah, it's a different sink. And I had to use my hand, but I was just like, I never did that even one time in the rental. It never felt, never like, home. felt like home. And this feels like home. And I just am like, so happy. <laughs> so great. Okay, um, ending the vlog now. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. We see all your comments. We don't always respond to them, but we and see you and we appreciate you. Guys. Oh, here we go. Thank you. I think 90, like uh, the way more bigger majority of you guys um, watch us because you resonate with us and care about us and I, and I appreciate you. There's a very small percentage that just want to see um, like bad things. Like <laughs> they want to see us in pain or hurting because they want like misery loves company type of thing. But like, I feel like the majority of you guys are not that. And I'm so grateful that you guys are here for the right reasons and share in our joy and in our pain in a good resonating way. So I appreciate you guys. And daddy. Frank, what did you think about the ball pit out there? What do you call it? Armpit. Uh, he calls it the, the armpit. armpit. He says, jump in the armpit, dad. <laughs> he calls it the armpit. That's funny. But somebody else is being with me while I'm in the armpit. Well, you gotta go to bed. You can play in the armpit tomorrow, okay? Maybe you can sleep in the armpit. No, if you sleep out there with him. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, April's taking her pills. Thanks for watching, guys. Find good and everything, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Go Are you done?